everyone, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and today we're reviewing the Gladiator Hulk from Thor Ragnarok. This was the Thor Ragnarok build a figure, uh, and he's pretty cool. Uh, there's only one complaint that I have, and it's his head kind of looks a little too comic-y instead of live action, which I know is a petty, like, pick, but still. Um, I'm looking up his price right now because I forgot to do so beforehand. So uh, he does show up um, as $35 on eBay, surprisingly enough, which kind of shocks me. Actually, Walmart has him for $60. He's in the $50, $60 range, which I think is actually pretty good. There was a re-release in like a two-pack, so it does make sense that it's a little bit cheaper. But I mean, it's not just your generic Hulk. He has all this armor and then stuff that you can attach, like the helmet, this battle axe, and this war hammer, which just makes him look really cool. Um, the helmet does kind of look goofy with the head, but yeah, comes in at nine and a half inches tall. I am going to take the helmet off for articulation, but before that, there's the 360. Head can rotate. 360 go up and down, arms can rotate around, go up, go down, twist at the bicep, bend at the arm, hands can rotate, torso can tilt and rotate too. Whoa, legs can kind of go up but not super far obviously. Uh, thigh swivel, bend at the knee, and feet can move as well. The only other issue I have is that the uh, hands don't hold like the weapons properly so they do slide and stuff but I mean other than that he's just a great figure so I'm gonna go ahead and give him a 9 out of 10 highly recommend picking him up especially between 30 to 50 dollars um, so yeah make sure you guys leave a like comment subscribe ring that bell and follow me on all my social media down below it's that nerd Ryan signing off